Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to walk you through how to adjust the high tide value on your Casio G-Shock GW7900 watch. This is module 3193. should work for any of the 3193 watches as well as the module 3200 watches. So what are we talking about here? What we're really talking about is getting invalid tide data and how do you correct it. The way you're going to correct it is you want to basically set your high tide value for the current day, your first high tide value to be equivalent to what it really is in your location. What the watch is going to do is the watch is going to use your time settings and it's going to calculate a high tide value. Sometimes that's accurate, sometimes it's not accurate. If it's accurate, great, you don't have to worry about this video. If it's not accurate, you can adjust your high tide value and what that'll do is it'll basically put the watch in sync so that every day your tide values match your local beach. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to try not to get too complicated in this. Just know that the only reason you would be doing this is if your tide values don't uh, match up. I'll also say don't worry about the settings we're going to do. You can always reset the watch back to factory default. So even if you go in here and you mess something up, I'm going to show you at the end how to reset it. Let's first go into our tide mode. We're going to simply press the mode button. That takes us into our moon and tide mode. Now, you might be seeing tide here you might be seeing moon here. They both share the same mode. So if you simply press the adjust button, we need to get to the screen that says tide. It should show your current day and then it should show 6 a.m. When you go into the tide mode, it'll always drop you at 6 a.m. Now I'm not gonna get into how do you view your tide information, any of that stuff. What you need to do at this point is you need to have a source that has accurate tide information for your local beach. That can be a tide table, that can be the internet, that can be a newspaper, it can be your cell phone. Go pull up the first, or just pull up high tide information for the current day. Some dates will have multiple high tides, some days will just have one high tide. We wanna set the watch to the first high tide for the given date. The way we see what the watch is calculating is while we're in the tide mode, we simply press and hold the adjust button. After a couple seconds, you should see a screen that says hi, still has your current day, and it should show you what the time is for the first high tide for your given date. In my case, mine is way off. The watch is saying on April 6th, the first high tide is at 1.49 a.m. My source on the internet is saying that it's 4.37 a.m. So we need to adjust this. I'm gonna use the buttons on the right-hand side. I can use the top button to move back. I can use the bottom button to move up. Once I've got my hour set, I'm going to press the mode button. That will take me to my minutes. Again, I can use either of the buttons on the right-hand side. And I need to go to 437. Once I've got my high tide value set, I'm going to simply press the adjust button. And I've successfully adjusted the tide information on my G-Shock watch. Now, if I go to any date in the future and I check the high tide, I know that it's accurate for today. If I want to go to the next day and check it, we can simply, the, the tricky part on this watch is if you want to get to the next day, you have to go to the moon data. So you can't be in the tide mode. Press the adjust button, go to the moon. Now you can use either the button up top to go back or the button on the bottom to go forward. I'm going to go to the next day, April 7th. Now I'm going to switch back to tide. Again, it's always going to drop you at 6 a.m., but if I want to see the high tide value for tomorrow, April 7th, press and hold the adjust button, and there's my high tide value for April 7th. This should match pretty close to what my source is saying because I've already put the watch, uh, the watch value. I've adjusted it to match my source value. I hope that makes sense. Basically what you're doing here is you're setting your high tide value on the watch to equal that of a source that you're using for the high tide for your nearest beach. So let's say you've done all this stuff and then you start freaking out and you say, hey look, this isn't accurate, I need to reset it. Let me get out of this. We'll go back to the basics. We're in our regular tide mode. We're gonna press and hold the adjust button just like we did before. While it's blinking, we're going to press both of the buttons on the right side, the top one and the bottom one, at the same time. It'll reset the watch back to the factory default from Casio. Personally, I have to adjust this.
for me, the values are way off. So I'm using the high tide adjustment so that I get accurate beach information. If you're not having any problems with it, you can use the Casio default and that's perfectly fine. Once you're done here, you'll simply press the adjust button and we've successfully looked at how to adjust our high tide time as well as how to reset it back to factory default. I hope the video makes sense. Again, this is only a feature you need to worry about if you're not getting valid tide information on your Casio G-Shock GW7900. Thanks for watching.